We move now to Sebring, where there was a problem with too much lead in the water four years ago. The village, ha the village has made several changes since then, including improvements to the water plant. And today, there was an open house to show off those improvements. First News reporter Brianna Ray Turner was there, and she's got this story new at 11. This water once upon a time had lead in it, and some in the Sebring community were impacted by this. We took our water and um, they had it tested. Some people tested for lead, others didn't. It just depended when your house was built. In January of 2016, some in the village couldn't drink the water. Bottled water was passed out and used until the village flushed the lead out of the system. And the water department finally got the results they wanted. The crew here has done a really great job. Uh, for over 40 uh, samples, no lead, not even a trace, undetectable. And I think that's something for everybody to know. So today they are celebrating with the open house and educating the community about the water updates and answering any questions they may have. We've had uh, uh, new systems put in the orthophosphate, which uh, helps protect the, puts a protective coating on the lines and it keeps the service lines from downtown from leaching. Sebring neighbor Joe Ring says she learned a lot about the water system in her town coming to the open house. You know, you drive by and you see this building, but you don't know really what's happening. So it's been very um, informative for me because you don't understand just how much goes through to have good water. Jack Haney says they are still making more improvements to the water system to keep it in EPA compliance. And Sebring, Brianna Ray Turner, WKBN 27 First News.